Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. Can you guess what costume I'm in? Can you guess? Can you guess? Hi, I'm Barbie. That's right, cuties. Of course, I'm Barbie. Duh. If you know me in real life, you know that I'm an absolute Barbie girl. So this costume was only right. Anyways. So in this week's video, I thought it would be a very fitting video to of course do a Halloween special reacting to sexy Halloween costumes. Now I will have to warn you, some of these are quite disturbing, so please stand by. Now without further ado, let's get straight into the video. Right now, coming in hot, the dinosaur costume. I don't think I've ever looked at a dinosaur in a sexy way or thought of it as a sexy costume idea, let alone any animal, but clearly some human beings have. So each to their own, I shall not judge. I shall not judge. But on a real note, what in the bestiality is going on here? And the thing is, it's not even a cute costume. It's actually just really creepy and weird. And like the design's not even cute. It's giving burnt toast dinosaur made slutty don't like it not a fan two out of ten and the two is just me being nice <sighs> now this one is definitely a um unique spin on aladdin shall we say i mean it, it's it's definitely a, an um a conversation starter but do you know what i've just realized as well imagine wearing this costume in a club where everyone's drunk or on drugs think about all the drunk people who are going to be rubbing on his um bottle I do love it though, I do think it's quite creative. I'm giving this a 6 out of 10. I don't know why I'm rating them, but you know what? I'm rating them. This is my video, I can do what I want. Thank you. What the heck is going on here? A pencil? Really girl, a pencil. At this point, I truly feel like the manufacturer was just running out of options. I feel like this costume is the type of costume where you don't know what to pick out, but you want to be different and you want to be creative. So you just close your eyes, Spin four times. I'm not gonna spin four times. And then literally just point to the next random object that you see. Bam, that's your costume. I feel like that is how this costume concept was created. <laughs> how it came to life. Because realistically, what normal average human being is sitting there thinking, hmm, what should I go as for Halloween? Yes! A pencil. Mm. Like what? And the thing is, if someone told me, oh yeah, I'm going as a pencil for Halloween, I'd imagine it in my head to be really stupid. But looking at this picture, why did she look you pull it off? Like, why is this kind of iconic? Like, it actually looks cute. Why did she make a pencil look cute? Screw it, I'm giving this costume a 6 out of 10. Out of this whole costume, all I want to know is, how is the snake being held up? How is that snake standing? That's really interesting. Could you imagine if it was actually right on his peak? I honestly feel like I can think of any object or any character, fictional, non-fictional character in the world and I guarantee you that's a costume. It's been a costume. I'm going to say a tree because I'm looking at a tree right now and I'm going to insert if that's actually a costume. Hmm, what else? Albert Einstein. Let's see if that's a costume. I feel like I have seen that before though. I mean, at this point, I wouldn't even be surprised if I saw a Stanley Bottle costume. Oh, wait. Mm, with this costume, it's a bit boring, it's a bit covered up, Ugh, we don't like that on this channel. It's not very sexy, it's quite outdated. I do like the snake though, and the area it's coming out of, it makes it quite scandalous. I would say it's the only scandalous thing about this costume. 3 out of 10 from me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh dear. Now, I just know Bob Ross is rolling in his grave after seeing this costume. Or he probably likes it. Who knows at this point? Sadly, I kind of love it. I can't tell if it's disrespectful or iconic, but I'm giving it a 7 out of 10. It's creative. <laughs> now, we don't have tater tots in the UK. I think the closest thing we have to a tater tot is like a croquette. I think that's how you pronounce it. But I do find the tot turning into a thought quite iconic. I do like the creative spin on it. It's different. You wouldn't really see tater tots walking around for Halloween. I like this. I don't know how I feel about the shoes of the show car. I do like this costume. It's simple, yet yeah, it's attention grabbing. It's fun. It's very goofy. It's not too serious. I'm liking this. Six out of ten from me. Right now, bringing it back to bestiality, we have a goldfish. A goldfish. Oh my gosh, it's a goldfish. Whoever is coming up with these sexy costumes, I'm calling the police. 
please raise your hand and see if I can find you so I can call the police. Because I literally see goldfish as sweet, cute, dopey, innocent animals. So seeing this as a costume is just crazy and it's not even executed nicely. She just looks stupid and goofy. I don't like this. Imagine as this model showing up to work and the costume director turns to you and says, like, hey, put this on. When I tell you I would be quitting that job on the spot because you will not catch me in no goldfish costume. That is very embarrassing. That is very embarrassing for her. Anyways, this is absolute trash. It looks very cheap. I don't like it. Not feeling it. One out of ten. And the eyeball at the top is really creeping me out. It's really giving me Illuminati vibes. It's really giving me creepy vibes. Not feeling it. And literally, like the shoes she's wearing with the costume is so ugly. Like at least do orange shoes if you're gonna do that. The ugly beige shoes. Ugh. Minus one out of ten. I love a fortune cookie. I hate this costume. Two out of ten from me. Like, what is on her legs? What are those lace up white things? Not cute. Don't like the white straps. Take off the white straps, take off those shoes, and maybe she'll get a four from me. Ugh. Sorry. <laughs> I want to punch this costume in the face. The top part looks like a melting banana and the bottom part looks like it was made in a arts and crafts workshop. No. I actually do like the concept because I love chips. I love a good old french fry. I love a good old chips. Look, bit of McDonald's chips up my coochie. Yummy, love it. But the execution of this specific costume is cheap and ugly and I don't like it. Two out of 10 from me. To go from a three-year-old being absolutely obsessed with the Teletubbies to seeing it as a sexy Halloween costume 21 years later, I, I, I don't have much to say about my childhood being turned into a sexy costume, but um, why do I love it? <laughs> I don't know if it's just the model who looks really good. The costume looks really good quality, but I think it's kind of iconic. Is that wrong? Is that bad of me? Is that naughty? Is that bad? I don't know. I love it. But yeah, because the model is kind of slaying, her body looks good, it fits really well with the outfit. It's kind of making me lose sight of what's actually going on here. And yeah, I love this. Six out of 10, I'm not mad at it. Can I even include this one in the video? Oh. After witnessing this costume, I think I need to call fashion over and have a quick little word because that's um that's a bit crazy. That's, that's a bit crazy in 2024. Oh, okay. Let's let's just skip that one. Let's just move past that one really quickly, shall we? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I wouldn't wear it. I definitely would not wear this, but I do love it on someone else. If I saw this in a club, I would high five this person. I, I like this. <laughs> Once again, though, feel terribly sorry for the model having to subject herself to wearing this, but it has come out pretty funny. Like, this is pretty freaking funny. And I'm sorry, but the attention to detail, the fact that she has the exact same coloured shoes to match the outfit is just icing on the cake right there love it i feel like this type of costume is for like the goofy girlies like the girlies who don't take halloween really seriously like the type of girlies who don't like to dress as little as possible i feel like this is for the girlies who just like to wear fun traditional proper halloween goofy outfits and i like this but yes overall iconic eight out of ten <laughs> Dookie. She is a dee dee. She is a poopity poop poop. She is a poop truckster. She is a poop monster. She is a piece of poop. Yeah. I'm suing. I'm suing on behalf of this poor girl. This is Fashion Nova as well. This costume, this piece of poo costume was literally found on Fashion Nova. Fashion Nova, what's going on this year? I'm really confused. Why would anyone apart from like a really goofy boy want to go as a piece of poo for Halloween? You know what? Each their own zero out of 10 from me. This is not creative. This is your lunch. This is somebody's lunch. Ew. Disgusting! Anyways, 
Here are a few of my honourable mentions. Iconic if you are a Star Wars fan. This is the perfect amount of sexy slash serious costume and I love it. Very creative. This is just amazing, iconic and fabulous and it is absolutely perfect because it's the mix of Halloween and Christmas as we're in that kind of period now. Love this creative, love the sexy boots, love the pose. This person's iconic, this person's laid. If you're a Scooby fan, perfect. If you're a Chucky fan, even better. Love these. Very cute, very sexy, very fun. You know exactly what the outfit is anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this week's video let me know what you guys want to see next and i hope you have a lovely halloween let me know what you guys are going as as well that'd be really cool to know as you can see i'm in this barbie this year i'm not even doing anything this year i'm just gonna go hang out with some friends and just play mario kart that's my halloween this year but what about you guys comment down below what you guys are doing for halloween let me know let me know what you guys are going as send pictures to me if you want and yes i will see you next week bye